Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. Today, very cool video as we're here to talk about the upgrade and update to Virtual Desktop for not only the Quest 2 and the Quest Pro and Pico, but of course for the much anticipated Meta Quest 3, which is going to be very released, very released, released very soon, excuse me, on October 10th. I'll be receiving it on October 11th, apparently, which is freaking amazing. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe, as of course, I'll be uploading plenty of videos about this, which is freaking, freaking amazing. I'm so excited about it. But of course, plenty of other videos coming very soon also about this guy, the Pimax Crystal 2 videos coming this week, everybody, comparing the fiber optics cable uh, with the normal cable that comes with the actual Pimax Crystal and also comparing the uh, field f foveated rendering, excuse me, with and without at 90 hertz and 120 hertz. But today, let's go and dive straight into the article. All right, so ready for MetaQuest 3 Virtual Desktop gets major update. And by the way, guys, I did do a video very, very not too long ago, a few days ago, about why you should be getting virtual desktop by the way so do go to the link description below the like button to go and watch that video as it is a must for anyone who's looking to do pc vr experiences with the meta quest 3 All right let's go back into it so this was written a few days ago by joseph earl a major update for virtual desktop prepares the streaming app for meta quest 3 and brings several improvements virtual desktop the popular app for wirelessly streaming PC content to mobile VR headsets is getting a major update. This means you'll be able to use the app with MetaQuest 3 right from its launch on 10th of October. Guys, this is huge. This is fantastic that on October 10th, for those with the Quest 3 are going to be able to use it from the get-go. This is the confirmation, although of course, if you go and check out the other video, I did speak to Gigodan, the actual developer and creator of Virtual Desktop, who said also it should be available on October 10th. So, all right, let's go back and dive right into it. Quest 3 supports AV1 codecs. Virtual Desktop developer Guy Gigodan, Gigodan, excuse me, announced the update yesterday via X, formerly Twitter. Thanks to the more powerful Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2, Virtual Desktop version 1.29, our MetaQuest 3 also supports AV1 codecs. Big update today, version 1.29 adds official Quest 3 support with a bunch of specific improvements such as AV1 codec support, 120 frames per second in all environments, high resolutions. The update also adds face eye tracking support on Quest Pro, a screen transparency option for Quest and Pico. So guys, what does this mean exactly, the AV1 codec? Well, basically, all you have to see it is basically, imagine that you're able to shoot at HD, but it records in 4K. And it doesn't even take much more RAM or much more power in order to do that. That's basically, in a nutshell, what it's going to be able to do. So this is really amazing as you'll be able to capture better detailed footage from your gameplay when you're recording or also, of course, when you're streaming. So when you see the image, it should be by right more clear. So that's the first thing. The other thing is, what is the big deal about the 120 frames? Well, that is the speed, that is the hertz, that's the frames per second. So the higher the frame rate, the more, the less latency there'll be, the faster it'll be and the faster you'll get to see the next images being rendered on the screen before someone else who perhaps has a 72 hertz or 90 hertz so if you're doing especially sims or you're doing shooters or all these kind of different things you'll be able to see who's coming around the corner faster before the other so it gives you a competitive edge so basically that's that now that's pretty exciting that the quest pro and also the uh, pico is getting a support for sorry the quest pro is getting support for face and eye tracking so that is pretty pretty cool and also of course the uh, screen transparency option for quest and pico that's pretty cool i guess this will be mixed reality I, I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly what screen transparency so yeah so that will be pretty amazing so let's just move on however the process is more demanding for gpus depending on the graphics card used it may not achieve the same resolution or frame rate as hevc if you want codecs require nvidia 4000 or amd 7000 series graphics card okay so there you go guys for me for example the rtx 2070 it's not going to be possible 
So you, if you have an RTX 3000 series, then of course not possible either. You will need an RTX 4000 plus series to get this working everybody. So just FYI, there you go. That's basically the news that, you know, is there. All right, let's just finish the actual um, article. So according to the release notes, the update, you can also look forward to following the new features, maximum bitrate increased to 200 Mbps. Wow. Wow, now that is pretty cool. That's going to increase all the way to that as before. I think it was 130, something like that, but it was already pretty good, 150. So that is pretty awesome that they've been able to increase it to that much. For all codecs and 400 Mbps for H.264 Plus. Ooh, my God, 400. Wow, this is getting crazy, guys. Really crazy. It's really competing with Verilink, I have to say, and do hit the notification bell. After you subscribe, guys, as I will be doing plenty of videos comparing the AirLink, of course, to the virtual desktop. And look, this is the HP Reverb G2 over there. Pretty cool, right? This is a pretty, pretty cool headset. If I just uh, go to video, there we go. Look, HP Reverb G2 there. And this is the DPVR E44K. It's, it's okay. It's, it's all right. But this one, my go-to VR headset at the moment. All right, let's go back into the article. Go like quality usable up to 120 frames per second. Snapdragon super resolution can be used with all VR graphics quality options. All right, now that is pretty cool to me because I've been having a lot of issues with it. So it's going to be very interesting to see if it performs better now. And of course, hit the notification bell as I just mentioned after you subscribe to get the lowdown about this specific option as it is something I'm pretty excited to see if it really does work and whether it really does make a freaking difference. Let's be honest. All right, we'll see. So hit the notification bell. All right, let's just finish. 120 frames per second can be used in desktop video mode for all environments. Environments are rendered at higher resolution as well. Now for the new features for Quest 3, Quest Pro and Pico 4, toggle for screen transparency above the screen in the first four environments, VR pass through option in streaming tab with configurable chroma keying. Oh, now that's pretty cool. Face eye tracking with VR chat on Quest Pro. Oh, right. With VR face tracking. Okay, VR C face tracking. Pass through environment on Pico. Now that's very interesting. Pass through environment. Okay. New virtual assistant that answers virtual desktop related questions in many languages. Virtual assistant. Oh, a bit of AI in there, it seems. Very, very interesting if he's incorporated some chat GPT in there. That'd be very interesting. Turkish and Russian keyboard layouts added. NVIDIA settings are now automatically saved and restored. That's pretty cool. Fixed compatibility issues with Onward via Steam VR when launching via the games tab. Okay, guys, my mic has just lost battery. So sorry for the change in microphone. But guys, yeah, thank you very much for watching today's video. Very, very excited about this. And personally speaking, I will be getting, of course, virtual desktop. And uh, I'm just blown away by what they do, how they do it. And it's just freaking amazing. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Smash the like so more people get to see it and we can grow the community of the VR Essentials on YouTube. Of course, until next time, smash the notification bell after you subscribe for all the juicy videos coming very soon. And I'll see you in another video very shortly. Until then, bye-bye.